in this topic we are going to show you an expatriate compensation worksheet under the balance sheet approach you know that in the previous topic we have discussed about a the the balance sheet approach which is uh, paying the expatriate according to the home country pay and compensation packages uh, so in this topic we are going to look at a compensation worksheet uh, which is created for which, which is a hypothetical worksheet created for a hypothetical expatriate going from america from australia to a hypothetical country which is new euphoria so let's take a look at this it is a hypothetical worksheet showing that this is an employee who is brian smith his position is marketing manager he is going from australia to a country which is hypothetical country which is new euphoria the reason for change is that this is a new assignment and effective date of change in this hypothetical worksheet is 1st february 2008 in this there is an um some information which is needed to calculate this worksheet and that is number 1 the cola index which you can see is in the last line of this worksheet the cola index for new euphoria is 150 and that is the cost of living allowance that cost of living allowance is going to be calculated according to this index which is 150 for this hypothetical company that is new euphoria and then the another important information which is not given in this worksheet is the rate of exchange the rate of exchange of australian dollar to local currency is 1.5 so accordingly the payment is going to be made 1 australian dollar is equal to 1.5 dollars of the new euphoria country so accordingly the compensation package is going to be decided so you can see that there are four columns first column is for item second column is the total amount in australian dollars per annum the third column is the amount which is going to be paid in australian dollars per annum and the fourth column is the amount which is going to be paid in the local currency of new euphoria per annum so you can see that it is a compensation package which is divided into both the local currency as well as the parent country currency now you can see that the total base salary which is being paid to this person brian smith is 200000 australian dollars per annum cost of living allowance which is being paid to this person is 50000 but according to the cola index which is 150 the cost of living allowance will be paid in the local currency and that is going to amount to 75000 dollars so this is something which is being paid in the local currency and not in the not in the parent country currency base salary is being divided into two components one is payment in the local country currency and the second one is payment in the parent country currency so 200000 they are equally divided you can see that half of the money is going to be paid in australian dollars which is 100000 rupees and in the local currency 100000 rupees because the conversion of the rate of exchange is 1.5 so 100000 is going to be amounting to 150000 dollars so he will be getting 100000 australian dollars and 150000 new euphoria dollars according to the exchange rate all right so then 20% of the amount is the overseas service premium which calculates to 40000 rupees and those 40000 rupees will be paid in the australian dollar then 20% is the hardship allowance which is again 40000 dollars which is going to be paid in the australian dollars then the organization the company is going to provide housing to this uh, expatriate in the new euphoria country and that is going to be balanced and deducted from the person's compensation package and 7% of the salary is going to be deducted for the housing facility that is being provided by the organization itself and that amounts to $14000 which you can see that it is in the negative amount and this is going to be deducted from the payment of the australian dollars 
and then finally tax deduction this is something that we are going to discuss in the later topics how tax is calculated and how tax is compensated in various certain occasions so the tax savings of that person which he is going to get a by working in that host country those are going to be then deducted from his salary which, which amounts to 97000 dollars and that is something which is going to be deducted from the australian dollar amount of payment and that is 97000 dollars you can see is being deducted in the australian dollar column so the total amount of payment that is due to that person is 219000 dollars out of which 69000 dollars are going to be paid in australian dollars and 225000 new euphoria dollars are going to be paid to this person per annum so this is a simple and basic expatriate compensation worksheet in which the person can easily see that how much salary and benefits he is going to get and what is the total amount of compensation that is going to be paid to this person